This video is going to show you how you can allow apps from unknown sources on Google TV running Android version 12 or 13. If you're watching this video as a short, tap on the thumbnail in the bottom right hand corner right now to see the full video. If you're already watching the full video, hang tight, more details coming up shortly. Don't forget to like this video, share it and subscribe to my channel. Doing these three things help us make more great videos for you. So it seems if you're running Google TV and you've got Android OS 12 or 13, it seems to be impossible to find the install unknown sources or enable unknown sources list. This is a list of apps that you can allow to download and install other apps. Now, we all know on earlier versions before Android version 12, you could enable developer options, go into settings, then into apps, then into security and restrictions. And there you would see install unknown apps. It would give you a list of the apps that you could switch on and off and allow it to install other apps. Now, why would you want to install other apps? Well, these apps may be apps that are not available on the Google Play Store for whatever reason. It might be that uh, they might not comply with Google Play Store's policies. They might be that the, the developer just simply hasn't submitted it to Google Play for inclusion, doesn't want to include it because the process of including an app can be quite tricky. So in these cases, you might have to do what's known as sideloading an app. And for security purposes, Google or Android tend to sort of try and shut these apps off, stop you from installing them. Now, you must be aware that if you do install apps from unknown sources, they could contain malware or viruses. So make sure if you do sideload these apps, they come from a trusted and reliable source before installing them on your device. Please make sure that you watch this video right to the end, because if you are having trouble installing these apps, then I'm going to give you some hints and tips on how to avoid potential problems later in this video. So anyway, enough waffle, let's get straight into it. So all you need to do is to go up and across to search just at the top there. And then once you're in search, you want to search for downloader. OK, once you've searched for downloader, go to the magnifying glass in the bottom right hand corner of the keyboard, middle button on the remote control. And what you're looking for is this orange icon with downloader and the arrow pointing down. So highlight that middle button on the remote control and then highlight install so you might have to press the down button a couple of times so the install goes white middle button let downloader download and install this bit might take a bit of time so please be patient once it's installing it will tell you it's installing like mine and once it's installed you will get the message open highlighted with uninstall to the right of it make sure that open is highlighted in white press the middle button on the remote control you then need to allow downloader to access photos videos music and audio on this device so make sure that allow is highlighted in white white otherwise it won't work and then middle button on the remote control press the middle button again to get rid of this quick start guide then press the up button on the remote to get your cursor flashing in the enter a url or search term box middle button to get the keyboard up and then type in there 139 Seven four one. That's one three nine seven four one. Then go down and across to the tick just at the bottom right hand corner of the keyboard, middle button, and then go down to go. Make sure that's highlighted in yellow, middle button. This will now start downloading an app. OK, so once it's downloaded the app, you get this message come up. Downloader, for your security, your phone currently isn't allowed to install unknown apps from this source. You can change this in settings. So make sure that settings is highlighted in white and press the middle button on the remote control. And here we go. This is the menu to show you install unknown apps. So you can see all the apps on here that could potentially have the permission to download apps or install apps 
from outside of the Google Play Store. So any of these you want to switch on, just highlight, middle button on the remote control, and as you can see there, the switch goes to the right and turns blue. So let's turn on send files to TV or turn on the uh, ability to uh, be allowed to install unknown apps. So middle button, there we go, it goes blue, and I'm gonna turn on downloader as well. So now it says to us, do we want to install this app? Well, no, we don't want to install it unless you do want this app for any reason. We So let's just make sure that cancel is highlighted, middle button on the remote control, press the back button on the remote. And then what we need to do is this is very important. We need to delete this now because otherwise it's going to take up space on our TV. So go across to delete, make sure that's highlighted in yellow, middle button, go across to the second delete, highlight it in yellow, middle button. And then what we can do is we can go up to home, just up there on the left, middle button, back button twice, and that will come out. And then what we can do now is we can uninstall this app. So just press the right button on the remote control to highlight uninstall in white, middle button. And then it says, do you want to uninstall this app? middle button. Okay. And then what we can do is whenever we want to get the install apps from unknown sources to come up, we can just reinstall downloader and that will give us the ability again to get to that particular menu. So as I said earlier, I told you I was going to talk about resolving potential problems installing apps. So what we need to do is if you are having problems installing certain apps, then go across to whatever is in the top right hand corner of the main menu of your screen. That should be your initial or your account, your Google accounts initial. Go down to settings, middle button on the remote. And then we want to go down to privacy, middle button, and then down to security middle button. And what we need to do is if we are having problems installing apps, then it might be that Play Protect is blocking them. Now you can turn off scan apps with Play Protect, but please be careful doing this because Play Protect can protect you against harmful apps. So please, before you turn this off, make sure that you've received the app from a trusted source and you know exactly what the app is going to do. No guarantees can be made that by turning this off, it won't mess up your system. So please only do this as a last resort if absolutely necessary. So we turn off scan apps with Play Protect just by pressing the middle button on the remote. The blue switch goes to white and it goes to the left. And we also need to ensure that improve harmful app detection is also switched off, which in most cases it will be if you've turned off scan apps with Play Protect. Now, other things we can look at if an app's not working properly is to ensure it's got the proper permissions. So press the back button on the remote and then go up to app permissions, middle button, and then we have a look through here. And if we know that our app perhaps would need access to contacts, then go into there, see if you can find the app listed in there and allow it access. I mean, here I've got no apps installed that require access to contacts. So let's go down to photos and videos. And there we go, send files to TV is allowed to access photos and videos. But say if it wasn't, say if that was turned off, then I'm just going to turn it off just to uh, just to demonstrate something here. You would see in the not allowed section would be the app that's not allowed to access photos and videos. So to turn give, or give it access, all we need to do is highlight that app by pressing the middle button on the remote control, go to allow middle button, then confirm it with a middle button and go back. And there we go, we can see that now Send Files to TV has access to photos and videos. Generally, if an app is working with files and folders on your device, then it's probably gonna need access to things like photos and videos, music and audio, certainly files. If an app is gonna need access to the microphone, then again, you're gonna need to allow access to the microphone for these particular apps. A lot of apps, 
admittedly on Google TV, aren't going to need access to uh, the microphone. And you've also got other permissions down there if you know what you're doing there. So there we go. That is a guide on how to get the install unknown apps working on Android version 12 and 13 for Google TV. At the current time, the only way to get it back is to uninstall the downloader app or a file manager app and reinstall it and then try to install an app or sideload an app and then it will give you the option to go into the install unknown app settings. As I say, at the current time, I know that it's a bit of a pain in the rear doing it this way, but there doesn't seem to be any other way. If I do find another way or anyone else finds another way, please let us know in the comments down below of this video. It would be good to hear from you. I hope you like this video. And if you did, why not stick around? Have a look through my YouTube channel. I've got thousands of other videos here covering all sorts of subjects. Hopefully whilst you're here, you're going to find something to educate you, entertain you, amuse you, and maybe even save you some more time and money.